we're going back to work on this old Suzuki. Been sitting up for a while. Owner said it won't crank, won't start. He brought it over. My previous video, we went through the battery. We had to get a shop battery and jump start the motor or try to jump start the motor. The motor would not start. The engine starter rolled the motor real nice. So now we're going to look for fuel problems. Turn off my ignition, disconnect my fuel line, get a sample of that fuel, inspect it for any contamination. Fuel looked good. So now we're going to disconnect the ring clamp from the back part of the carburetor. And I'm going to figure out a way to squirt half an ounce, quarter of an ounce of fuel directly into the back end of that carburetor. Roll over the motor, see if we can get any, any life out of it. Well, we did that. The motor started right up. It idled for about three seconds. So that tells me I've got a fuel problem in this carburetor. So I'm loosening up the ring clamp in the front part of the carburetor. The back one we've already got off. Now the throttle assembly, these two screws here on the side of the assembly, and pop these cables right off that roller. Okay, and then you just reach in there and you grab that carburetor gently, pull it out of there. Be very careful, you don't want to tear or damage the grommets on the front or the rear end of that carburetor. You can see I forgot to disconnect the uh, choke cable. Okay, I'm going to take this carburetor off and I'm going to inspect it really good for any contamination. Bugs, frogs. Here in Florida, the big thing is mud daubers. Any breathing hole or tube, a mud dauber will build a nest in. So, I'm going to be gentle with it. I'm not going to tear the bottom part of that. It's got your float assembly. The top part houses your diaphragm. I don't want to buy a rebuild kit and... I'm just going to blow blow this all out with some air and uh, clean out all the orifices. You got the jets in the back. You got little breathing holes in the front. This thing gets air from everywhere. Any one of these is plugged up. Your carburetor is not going to work. So get it all cleaned up. Put it back on the motorcycle and see what happens. We got lucky. The motor started right up. Looks like it's going to run good. We just need to go through the rest of the bike, get everything up to standards, buy a battery, check the uh, rectifier assembly. And I think this motor and fuel system is going to be okay. But I don't want to jinx myself. Thanks for watching.